So last night I didn't set an alarm because I'm always up by five. It's 7 a.m. and I just woke up. I should be on trail right now. I have 12 miles to do, hard miles, and I have to get picked up today. All right, good morning and welcome to day 143 on the AT. My name is Mosey and this is Rissa Rome's. I am truly shocked that I slept that late. I never sleep until seven, um, even when I'm in town. Um, I'm always stirring sometime between five and six. I may not choose to get up, but I'm always stirring. So I'm uh, mad at myself for not setting an alarm, but it's okay, we moved fast. Um, it is 7.40, so in less than an hour, I had breakfast, I used the privy, we packed up, and I'm rolling out. I'm going to attribute my success to the fact that I did not put on my freezing cold, dripping wet sun hoodie. Um, because I'm supposed to be going into town today, Lord willing, um, I am just wearing my sleep shirt because um, I wrung my sun shirt out four or five times and it's still dripping water <laughs> I just didn't want to put it on it is 50 degrees we are in a cloud and I'm gonna be warm right now um, I may regret that later but this is what we're doing so I have 12 miles um, to do today a little less um, gonna be picked up either by the roadhouse or the guy who did trail magic step uh, if he's still there he may take me back. We're going to try and talk him into that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, here we go. Also, the reason I waited to do the Bigelows was because today was supposed to be a sunny day. So, um, hope that changes. Um, I think it is sunny probably everywhere else except on the mountain. Um, the weather still says it's going to be a good day. Um, but yeah, it's a little dreary. Not raining now. Yet. That's the key. <laughs> oh. Making my way up this beast. Um, it was over 500 feet of elevation gain in 0.4 miles. Um, luckily it's mostly steps, but whew, getting the heart rate up, that's for sure. Um, I So at Horns Pond Loon Twos, there's actually two Loon Twos, very large ones. There were two of us there, me and an older gentleman. Um, and so we each had a lean to to herself, which was nice. Um, but this morning, I just rolled up on him. He's headed southbound. He went the wrong way. So bless him. Glad I could let him know uh, he needed to turn around. As suspected, in a cloud, no view on North Horn. Didn't bother doing a side trail to South Horn. Hopefully I get a view on some of the peaks. Here comes the sun, doo 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 doo. Here comes the sun and I say, it's all right, doo 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 doo. Come on man, bring the sun out, lift the clouds, give me some views. Uh, well, I don't think I'm going to get a view from West Peak. Uh, maybe choosing to wait for a good weather day was a mistake. Uh, at least I wasn't up here in the pouring rain yesterday. And you know, maybe I was able to help that man on his way this morning. Hopefully. Hands are going to be very wind chapped. So is the face. I need my gloves back. The sun was really trying. Uh, this cloud to move. It doesn't look like I'm gonna get a view on Avery. Uh, I was really hoping. But it could be worse. It could be worse. I just ran into a lady from New Hampshire who came up here to do the Bigelows today because she also be a beautiful day but she encouraged me that sugar loaf would be gorgeous hopefully we'll have good weather for it and 
We talked a little bit about the whites. I'm not gonna lie, I've been anxious about the fact that I'm not gonna get to the whites earlier um, than I am. But she said that September is her favorite month in New Hampshire and um, that it's gonna be nice. Uh, cold, but good. So let's hope I, yeah. Oh, I mean, trees, but it's not a cloud. That's something. I'm seeing something. I'll take what I can get. Well, the sun is coming through the trees. It's likely I'll get something at Little Bigelow. But I was really looking forward to Avery. Well, a little break in the trees here. Got a bit of a view. Maybe if I had hung around up at the peak, I would have got something. Hard to tell. More little peeks through the trees. <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> Got a view. <sighs> I cannot begin to express how happy and grateful I am right now. <laughs> The sun is out. It feels like it's been so long. All right, we're taking a blue blaze to Old Man's Head. Comments said it's really good, but not as good as the peak, unfortunately. I didn't get to see the peak, so this is what we got. Here we go. I'm so glad I waited. Just ran into Half Baked. Um, he, of course, is going south. I thought I missed him yesterday um, because I didn't see them. But they, he hung out with Step at Trail Magic, waited for Too Easy, and they went to the shelter. And then they zeroed they, there yesterday because of the weather. Um, and so they're headed to the roadhouse. So I'll see him tonight. <laughs> Just realized. Oh, sorry, just got interrupted. Ran into Gandalf the Red, who I stayed with at the alpaca farm. But uh, just noticed my sunglasses and the teeny tiny little duck that Too Easy gave me to, uh, you know, indoctrinate me into their tramley um, is gone. And I'm very sad. And uh, I'm more sad because I left stuff on trail. Um, that always bums me out. Um, but maybe I'll run into Too Easy and have them scan for me. I don't know when I would have lost them. All right, just ran into Too Easy and another guy. Uh, keep getting stopped. <laughs> Can't make much forward progress today, but here we go. I should make it to 
the trailhead in decent time, but the drive is a long one, and I may get back to the hostel later than I'd like. so funny um i was walking um past a view and i wasn't sure if i was gonna stop or not and i start to walk over it to it and just as i do a guy pops up and it's coco bear who i knew was around because uh, half baked told me that they camped together the other night but um coco bear flipped he um last time i saw him was woods hole so uh cool running into him we had a chat slowed me down Yet again, this is why I need to go with the flow of traffic. <laughs> and good news, just texted the roadhouse and told them when I'd be finished and asked, you know, if they were able to get in touch with Step if he was coming back or not. And he is down there waiting for me, gonna give me a ride so I don't have to pay for a shuttle. Oh man, Step, you have been a true angel. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. Gosh, today has been such a beautiful day after all. A teeny tiny little frog. He just accidentally did a backflip trying to get away from me. He's so small. So I have a little over a mile and a half left to get back to the parking lot. Um, Step said the other day that the one and a half down from the shelter is some of the nicest, cruisiest, quickest trail in Maine. Hope that's true. Um, <laughs> several Nobos came through Trail Magic that morning I was there and, uh, said they felt like they had just been walking in Virginia. So I'm looking forward to this. It is indeed cruisy. There has been some mud. I'm not gonna say there hasn't been, but nothing compared to what I'm used to. I'm actually moving three miles an hour. I don't think I've done that all of Maine.